This is a lightsaber. Well, not exactly, but this is the world's first functioning protosaber. Inspired by George Lucas's lightsaber from Star Wars, it is a burning beam of light powered by kyber crystals. In the show, at least. What? In real life, it works a bit differently. You see, we don't actually have the stuff from the movies. So uncivilized. So Hacksmith Industries instead substituted the crystals with... LPG, compressed liquid propane gas, which can give us 50 times more energy per kilogram than a lipo. This gas reaches over 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit and is capable of melting metal siding, blowing up windows, and even cutting through stormtroopers. But the story behind its creation is a lot more interesting than a hot flashlight. However, this origin story has many tales. Hey yo bro, you know sticks, right? What if we just had one of those that cut through everything? I mean, I don't know man, that sounds pretty dangerous. What if that got into wrong hands? Man, I always knew you were boring. As of March 10th, 2022, Disney made their own form of lightsaber, capable of, well, not much. But in Star Wars, lightsabers originated tens of thousands of years ago, way before the plotline that we know and love today. The technology evolved and changed drastically, but the main components of most modern lightsabers are good old metal and a kyber crystal. But perhaps the best in between of the unstoppable sabers in Star Wars and the lightsabers that Disney made are those created by Hacksmith Industries. Their history originates in Cambridge, Ontario, Canada, when they got the idea to create the world's first functioning lightsaber, which has now been worked on for over seven years. That's absolutely insane. The idea started with a proto-saber, a form of lightsaber that requires an outside source of energy that actually reflects the process the lightsabers went through in Star Wars before they became self-operating, self-sustaining beams of plasma. But this original protosaber required a metal rod that was heated up to thousands of degrees and was therefore not retractable. Until the introduction of the all-plasma protosaber. Still requiring a backpack, but now it had a retractable beam that reached over 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. But Hacksmith Industries history is still being written as they just made The world's first fully self-contained plasma-based lightsaber Pike This not only shows that they've made progress But is directly in line with the evolution of lightsabers in Star Wars Meaning we should be seeing smaller and smaller iterations of this Pike Until we have a fully fleshed out lightsaber However, the lightsaber I'm most excited about is this one Halfway through the making of this video, I realized two things if we actually had this in the public, it would be horribly irresponsible. Anyone could do anything. And they're also selling them for $100. So that's why I bought one and I'm going to be having it over summer. Which, all jokes aside, I recommend you check out to support the Hacksmiths as they pioneer this new science. This saber is made out of aircraft-grade aluminum and is capable of operating for 15 minutes at full power. They even have a color-changing insert made out of varying elements to change the color of the blade. This video isn't sponsored, but if we want to see a new science develop, then supporting the cause could be useful. I don't know, man. This kind of makes me sad. Like, I know lightsabers are real, but the force isn't real. I mean, the force isn't real. Watch. Oh, yeah, let me down, bro. Let me down, let me down, let me down. 